Welcome to Aquaponics of Pebbles and Pellets. I'd like to discuss some of the differences that I've noticed between these two mediums, and I'll try and keep it quick. Okay, let's talk about these clay pellets for a minute. These wonderful things are made from expanded clay. Beyond that, I don't really know what they do. But they're very lightweight, and they're full of holes. So the bacteria has lots of room to colonize, grow, feed, and ultimately to convert our fish waste into our plant food. These pellets are incredibly light and they take up a wonderful amount of space for their weight. And all in all, I'd say they're a very good value, a solid investment. When I first started my aquaponic garden about a year ago, I spent uh, approximately $80 on two very large bags of these clay pellets, and they filled the space I had available at the time. The clay pellets have some definite benefits over the pea gravel option. The first being that they are so lightweight. When this fills and floods, it becomes incredibly easy just to move these around, just give it a push, and they kind of float on the water. You can drop your plant right in there, they're fantastic for cloning because there's very little resistance when you're sticking that cutting down. The pellets just float gently out of the way and then as it drains they fall back into place and hold it nicely upright. I have successfully rooted probably hundreds of plants just in the last year just in this one aquaponic bed. When it comes to softer stemmed plants like the tomatoes or the herbs, this is a fantastic way to add to your collection of plants. With all that being said, let's talk about the pea gravel option. Here you can see one of my newer aquaponic beds which I've started to convert to small rocks and pea gravel. There's a very good reason for that. Two, really. Let me explain. One, rocks are free or at least considerably cheaper than $40 a bag. And two, they're considerably heavier than the clay pellet option, allowing more stability for larger plants. Plants that are going to be with me for a while, such as my curry, my rosemary, a little miniature curry, my Cuban oregano, and plants that are going to be themselves quite sizable, I'm going to leave these all in with a nice, heavy, solid rock foundation. Whereas I'll definitely be keeping the clay pellets so that I have somewhere nice to put my freshly rooted clones. So out of the two, what do I think is better? I can't say. I think both have an essential place in my aquaponic system. I think if you're starting out and you have the money, by all means you should go ahead and buy a pre-made bed and definitely buy as many of the clay pellets as you can afford because they are wonderful for propagation. You can clone a million tomatoes if you have enough patience and enough fish. Um, on the other hand, you know, if you're starting out and you don't have the money, you can find rocks pretty much anywhere. If there's a stream, there are small rocks. If you have enough patience, you can collect enough to fill your garden. So. Like I say, which one do I think is better? Neither one is better. Which one do I think you should start with? The one you can afford. Ultimately, it's your aquaponic system that you're setting up. You should do what you feel is right, and you probably will be. All I can say is, both have an absolutely essential place in my aquaponic system, and both will always be a part of my greenhouse. Well, that's all for now. This is JT Baron saying, go out there, give it a try. Happy gardening. Have a great day.